What is going on, YouTube? I uh, hope you're doing better than me. I'm over here in Chicago. It's currently about 10 degrees outside. Tomorrow is supposed to be closer to like 2 or 0. I don't know. But uh, I'm not doing anything in the garage here for prolonged amounts of time. I only came out here to make this video uh, to uh, show you what I'm going to be showing you today. This is a project that I did uh, well over a year ago. I think it's going on two years now that I did this. Uh, but the videos that I'm showing you are all kind of low quality. They're from my phone that I used to have. And uh, it's for a set of LED Cadillac taillights that I had built using Diode Dynamics LED products. So... Check it out, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, or don't. I don't care. Just stay warm. It is cold outside. So forgive me, these things are a little bit dusty here, but, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, basically this is it. So I bought all this stuff, minus the backing plates here, from diodynamics.com. They're a LED supplier. I would highly recommend them. Their customer service is great. Um... Check them out if you haven't. They're really changing the LED game, I guess. Uh, but what I have here is I have one of their flexible strips. I think these were like 15 bucks a pop, uh, red. And then I have one of their high-powered LED strips. So this has like a white phosphorus coating. It's actually really nice. It's got three different light settings, three different wires. It's got an LED driver, as you can see here. And... Uh, so what inspired me to make these basically was I owned a 98 Cadillac DeVille limo, six-door limo. It was a badass car. Um, if you ever get the chance to buy a limo, do it because they are the ultimate daily driver slash road trip vehicle. It was just a blast to own. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, kind of perk up the lights in the back here. Uh, I had seen kits on ebay they were like a 100 bucks so i bought one whatever it came and it was just absolute junk i mean they wanted me to like hire hardwire in these paper thin led strips and they were bad so the first two photos that i'm going to post after this video are from the original kit that i bought and they just weren't really doing it for me so uh I guess from there I went on Dio Dynamics website. I bought these. I actually, uh, you know, wired it all in. I went on uh, the RetroFitSource.com and I got some bulb connector plugs. So everything is actually plug and play. Everything you see here can be put inside of the taillight housing of a '98 Cadillac and plug in, bolt up, just like the factory would intended. So. Pretty cool. These things are extremely bright. I'm going to post up uh, some videos after here showing the uh, basically what they do in action. But we have the 3157 wired up to our high-powered strip. We have a 194 for the running light wired up to uh, the, I guess we'll say lower-powered strip, but it's not you know, really that much less bright. It's, it's pretty bright. And uh, everything operates as she should. The only thing you need to do is, I guess, you know, add resistors or get a uh, flasher relay to get rid of hyper flash, and that would about do it. So, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, let me know. Dio Dynamics Retrofit Source, hit them up. Do not buy cheap LED uh, conversion kits from eBay. They suck. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Like, comment, subscribe.
And for a bonus today, I got some ridiculous photos of when I actually sold this thing. Uh, I towed it down, probably, uh, I towed it down to the south side of Chicago. Um, I jackknifed twice. This was on a, a car dolly because the limo was front wheel drive. So I threw it up on a car dolly, hooked it up to the back of my Duramax, and I towed it down the highway. It was probably, it was not the sketchiest tow. It was up there, but it wasn't, you know, it's pretty sketchy. Uh, jackknifed coming out of my neighborhood, saved it, and then I also jackknifed pulling into the neighborhood that I was dropping it off in. But that made it. It was all right. And then, uh, I don't know if, you know, some of you know uh, uh, DeAndre uh, or the YouTube channel Chicago Car and Bike Meets. Uh, shout out to Chicago Car and Bike Meets. DeAndre, what's up? He bought the limo from me and uh, he ended up, you know, taking it down to all the car meets downtown. So I'm sure it's been around. A lot of people have seen it. Uh, I think it, eventually some uh, someone told me that it was totaled. And uh, that was the end of it. I don't know what happened after that, but it is what it is. Go out there and buy yourselves a limo, guys. A lot of fun. Great time. So, yeah, thanks for checking out my video today. That's about it. Uh, once it gets a little bit warmer... I'll be out here, and we're going to be uh, doing a little bench test with the subwoofer inside of the box. I'm going to be using my Milwaukee M18-powered boom box uh, for the music and testing out the RCA outputs that I had installed on that. And uh, we'll run the Sundown amplifier. We'll run one of the Sundown woofers in the box. I might just wire up one of the other woofers just so it's all, you know, down to one ohm and at the correct wattage and everything, and I'll just hold it in my hand or whatever. But, yeah, should be fun. Stay tuned. Check it out.